Sharon and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is so surreal to say that out loud. I've been wanting to be on YouTube for so many years now and it's taken me a really long time to sit in front of a camera and film myself. But I'm finally here and I just can't wait to be on this journey with you all. So for my very first video, I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. This has been something that I've personally watched throughout the years and I just thought what better way to kickstart my channel than with an everyday makeup routine. So if you're interested in how I got this dewy, glowy, natural makeup, then just keep on watching. So I've already cleansed and moisturized my face as well as applied sunscreen. So next I'm going to go in with a primer. And the primer that I'm using today is this Hourglass Number no. 28 Primer Serum. I just put it all over my face. As you can see, this primer adds a really nice glow to the face. Because it is a serum, it does go on quite oily, but I have dry skin, so this works well with my skin type. So after the primer, I'm going to go in with foundation. Now for my foundation, I like to keep it pretty natural. Um, I don't really have too many problems with my skin. If anything, I just have some discoloration and some scars that I want to cover up. So I go in with a foundation that's pretty lightweight. And the foundation I'm using is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I use this foundation in the shade 5.75. It's good to use when you just want a little bit of coverage, but it's also buildable as well. So I apply it to my fingers first, and then I just dab it all over my face. And I try not to go in too much with the product and just kind of see how much I need in the end. And then I'm going to blend that in with a beauty blender. It's a very glowy foundation and that's the look that I am going for. So I did a pretty good job at just adding like a bit more coverage. So after the foundation's all blended in, I go in with my concealer. And the concealer that I'm using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use this in the shade Custard under my eyes and as well as the shade Macadamia for any um, other blemishes on my face. So I'll go in with Custard first and I apply this to my under eyes. And then I apply the shade Macadamia on any blemishes that I have. So I have a bit on my chin. And that's all that I really need. Then I'll go blend that in with a beauty blender. So after my concealer is all blended in, I'm going to powder those areas. So the powder I'm using is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I use the powder that's on the lid and I go in with a brush and I just dab it my under eyes. This ensures that the concealer won't move throughout the day and it won't crease. And then I apply it on the blemishes as well. And I normally don't powder anywhere else on my face. If anything, I'll go in um, lightly on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. So just like that. And then a little bit on my nose. After the setting powder, I will now go in with bronzer. 
And the bronzer that I'm using is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. It's a really nice and like orangey, bronzy color. And it just gives a nice glow to the face. So I go in with a blush brush. And I mainly just apply all over my cheeks. I don't really contour anything, but I like to just give some more color into my face. So I just start like that. So after the bronzer is all blended in, I just take whatever the remaining product is and I put some on my nose. As well as uh, my forehead. This bronzer does a great job at just adding that sun-kissed glow to the face. So after the bronzer, I'm going to go in with highlighter. And highlighting is my favorite part of my routine. I just love being glowy. So the highlighter I'm using is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And I'm going to go in with a highlighter brush. And I just gently tap it into uh, the highlighter. Apply to the bridge of my nose. So next I'm going to go in with my eyes. And for my eyes, I keep it pretty simple. I just use mascara and eyeliner. And the eyeliner that I'm using today is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Brown. And I pull my eye back a little just so that I can get right on the lash line. After the eyeliner, I'm going to curl my lashes. And the curler that I'm using is the Shu Umera Eyelash Curler. I like to pulse the curler a few times. And for my mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara. This mascara is super cheap. I think it costs like $5 at the drugstore, and it works really well. It has a very unique brush head. It's kind of like heart-shaped. This mascara does a really good job at lengthening your lashes. So my eyes are complete and next I'm going to go in with my brows. So my brows are actually microbladed. Um, I just got them done recently so they are quite fresh and I love them, like I don't have to do much to them at all. Um, if anything, I just go in with some brow gel. So the brow gel that I'm using is the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. This is my favorite brow gel. Uh, I've used a bunch of other brow gels, but this one does the best job at making your brows look really fluffy and just like feathery. And I'm just going to brush up my brows. Um, I don't have a lot of hair, but it does do a really good job at making it look like I have a lot of hair. I 
I love this stuff. It really does make a big difference and I can notice it right away. So that's how the brow gel looks like. So it's really nice and fluffy. It still looks pretty natural and it just adds a bit more color to my brows. So I'm almost done with this routine. I just need to spritz my face. And the face mist I'm using is the Lila B Aglow Face Mist. So I shake it up and I just spritz it all over my face. This mist definitely adds like the final glow factor to my face. So the last step are my lips. And for my lips, I keep it pretty simple. I normally just use lip balm every day. Uh, sometimes I'll go in with a lip color that's similar to my lip shade. So I'll first go in with my lip balm. And the lip balm I'm using is this Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kissed Lip Butter. It's a massive lip balm. It looks like a glue stick. And the lipstick I'm using is this Kaja Air Heart Lipstick, and it's in the shade Ride or Die. It's a heart-shaped lipstick. And for my lipstick, I don't like to really run it through my lips. I mainly dab it. So you can see, it adds a bit of a color. So after I've applied the lipstick, I'll go in with my finger to blend it out and I'll also blot it with a tissue. And the final step, I actually go in with an eyelash curler and curl my lashes again. Um, just make sure that your mascara is completely dry and that your eyelash curler is clean. Because the mascara is dry, as soon as you go in with the curler again, it just holds really well. I find that curling my lashes a second time with mascara on makes a huge difference. I do recommend being careful though and, you know, not taking out your eyelashes in the process. So yeah, there you go. That's my makeup routine, guys. It's definitely glowy, natural, and something that is very easy to do. Um, my foundation doesn't feel cakey at all. Because I only set where I needed to, I still maintain like that natural glow that my face gives off. That was my first YouTube video, guys. And again, I hope you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.